What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use distortion as both a creative effect and enhancement on your drums and elements of your beats with the Berserk plugin. Now there's no distortion plugin as unique as Berserk. We're gonna go from this to this. Let's just start off right away by hitting the go button and bringing up the density. Let's see what happens. That's what I'm talking about. On top of that, you get 10 different character waveforms to choose from. You have all these additional controls down here to shape. So let's not waste any more time. Let's dig right in. I'm starting off with this 808. Check it out. All right, now let's hit it with Berserk. So you hear right away that super grimy feedback effect. Let me take it back to full reset and I'll show you how to get there from scratch. All right, so you have the input knob here. I'm using the Berserk mono component on this 808, but there's a few more features you get with the stereo component. I'm gonna show you that later on. For now, let's jump down to Berserk's feedback section. Now the feedback section is basically an oscillator and it produces a sine wave that follows your input signal. Let me blend in some of that so you can hear what I mean. This blend control sets the mix between the output of the drive and the feedback section. Now the level here controls the amount of feedback that goes to the drive. Hear how that affects the distortion? All right, now you can control the pitch and the range of feedback with these low and high controls. And you can set these to either frequency or pitch. In frequency mode, you can set the pitch based on the frequency number from 20 hertz up to 20,000 hertz. Or you can set it to pitch and these plus and minus options become available and you can set the low and high feedback based on note values. And you can use these blue plus and minus buttons to adjust the octave of feedback. On both the low and the high, you can take it down to zero or you can go up as many as eight octaves. My 808 is hitting an F note. So I'm gonna bring the low and the high controls to F. Now you can also connect the high and low controls together so you can adjust at the same time. All right, so we have a matching sine wave, but you don't have to match the feedback, pitch, or frequency. With this plugin, you're free to take things wherever you want, go as crazy as you want. That's why it's called Berserk, all right? Now you also have the speed control down here. Check this out. Speed controls how long it takes the feedback to go from high to low. Let's keep the speed slow so we get that exaggerated dive bomb type effect. Now we get it diving down from that upper octave, but if you set the low octave value greater than the high octave, then the feedback goes in the opposite direction. Check it out. Now right here you have the type control with sine and in. Sine sets whether you modulate the sine wave, or you can modulate the input signal. You definitely want to experiment with these. Now the last part of the feedback section are the high and low pass sidechain filters and sidechain source. I'm gonna show you how to trigger Berserk from an external source in the next example, so stick around for that. But one thing to remember is that the character or feedback is determined by the character of the distortion shape. So experiment with different waveform shapes, that spontaneity and unpredictability is what this plugin is all about. All right, now I'm gonna play back the track. Let's hear where that 808 is hitting. All right, I made a few adjustments. Take a listen to the before. And after. You're gonna love Berserk on your 808s, but you don't always have to go so extreme with it. Let me show you how to use Berserk to enhance the kick and snare with a little parallel distortion. With Berserk, you're meant to go extreme, or you can use it as a quick enhancement. Take a listen to this kick drum. Eh, not bad, but let's heat it up a little bit. <laughs> 
Let's start right off the bat by going through some waveform shapes. All right, I like the way the trippy waveform sounds. Just gave me that weight I was after. So let's bring the drive down a little bit. All right, now Berserk also has a three band EQ section. So let's do some more shaping on this kick drum. basically creating a smiley face curve. Now, if you got the shape you want, but it still sounds too hot, all you need to do is go down to the temperature control and turn down the heat. Now you hear how taking it cold kind of thinned it out a little bit. Let's bring it to just above halfway in the purple. All right. Now we added just a little bit of volume when we made those adjustments. So you can either bring it down with the output control or you can blend back in the dry signal for some parallel processing with the mix control. Check it out. All right, now let's do the same process to enhance our snare. Start by choosing the waveform that feels good. And just like before, you make your way down the plugin. So again, I'm gonna adjust the drive. Next, check the temperature. And then mix it in with that dry signal. All right, I made some adjustments. Let me play back the kick and the snare so you can hear the difference. Here's the before. and after. And that's the idea with Berserk. You can go crazy and creative with the distortion and feedback, or you can use it to add weight and get things to cut through in the mix. Either way, you get fast results so you can get the feel you need and keep it moving. So the last thing I wanna show you is how we can use Berserk on another element. Check out this flute sample I got going. All right, so let's add some more life to this. This time I'm using the Berserk stereo component. With the stereo component, you have the input section with stereo, mid, and side modes. In stereo mode, you distort the whole stereo signal. In mid, you distort only the middle. And in side mode, the distortion is gonna kick in only on the sides. I'm gonna keep it in side mode just so I can sizzle up the sides. And you can use this input S control to bring up the level of the sides just a little bit. All right, now let's take it back to Berserk's dynamic section here you control the dynamics fed into the drive for distortion, and you have two switches. In dynamic mode, primarily low-level sounds get returned to the drive for distortion. In rider mode, the higher-level sounds get the distortion processing. Next to that, you have the up and down modes, and these set whether the signal is raised or lowered when the sound passes through the threshold. Let me show you how these two work together. So in the default, it's set to down and on dynamic mode. My sounds coming from the sides that exceed the threshold get distorted. Check it out. If I take it to up, you can get this bumpy type of distortion. Check it out. If I go down and put it in rider mode, the loud levels get distorted and the soft signals will not be distorted. And switching to up in rider mode, the soft sounds below the threshold get distorted while the louder sounds will not be distorted. All right, now I got one more trick I wanna show you. Let's go back to the feedback section. Remember Berserk has a sidechain feature. Let me show you how that works. Take a listen to these ghost kicks I set here underneath the flute sample. So we can go ahead and mute these ghost kicks because we're just gonna use these to trigger Berserk. And you don't need to open a new channel to set this up. Let's go back to the sample track. Now on the Berserk plugin component, 
you see the sidechain feature right here. We're going to just change the input to the ghost kicks, and we're going to leave the rest alone. That's it. All right? Now, back on Berserk, in the feedback section, change the SC to EXT or external. All right? I'm just going to turn up the blend to blend in some of that feedback. Let's adjust the octaves. Now, every time those ghost kicks appear, we get that distorted feedback effect. You definitely got to try this out in your own tracks. Very cool sidechain feature. It's giving you more flexibility for doing some really insane distortion effects with the Berserk plugin. Now, if you're looking for unique and intense distortion, or even if you just want to add some more beef and edge to your sounds, you're definitely going to get so much out of the Berserk plugin. Visit waves.com slash berserk. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button for the latest tips, tricks, and more from Waves Audio. And until next time, thank you for watching. Yeah.